Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. So from this video onward, I am also going to start a new playlist where I will be solving questions from a new website called Data Limo. So it is just like Lead Code and Stratus Scratch series that we have been doing. But here, uh, when I was going through this website, I found a lot of interesting questions and questions mostly from the big companies, right? If you look at it, right? Uh, so th this is the SQL category and there are uh, questions from statistics machine learning probability as well right so this seems really good and if you look at the uh, type of questions the you know difficulty level so there are a lot of easy medium difficult even though there are some of the premium questions which, but most of the questions i think are accessible to anyone like you don't need to take any subscription or things like that so yeah uh, let's move into the video right okay so this question uh, is basically regarding data science skills and has been asked in LinkedIn SQL interview. Uh, and the difficulty level of this question is easy. The question reads something like, given a table of candidates and their skills, you are tasked with finding the candidates best suited for an open data science job. Okay. You want to find candidates who are proficient in Python, Tableau and PostgreSQL, right? We are supposed to write a query to list the candidates who possess all the required skills for the job, right? So they should have Python, Tableau and PostgreSQL as their skill, right? It's all three, right? So it should not be two out of these three or one out of these three. There is possible that apart from these three, you can have multiple other skills as well, right? But these three should be there sort the output by candidate id in ascending order right and the assumption is there are no duplicates in the table so basically this is the candidates table with two columns candidate id and skill these are the data types and let's go through this example right so for example uh, th these are the candidate ids and their skills so if you look at it like which all candidates have all python tableau and postgresql so if you see candidate id one two three has that two three four has SQL Server Power BI R. So none of the three, right? 345 has Python and Tableau, but does not have PostgreSQL, right? So the only output should be 123, right? And that is what we have, right? So here, what we can do is firstly, we can group by the candidate ID and try to find out all the skills that they have, right? So what I'm saying is from this table called candidates, let's group by, right? So let's group by the column called candidate, right? So candidate ID and let's return the candidate ID. And then, so remember this we are doing in PostgreSQL, right? In MySQL, there is a function called group concat, right? So basically for each of these groups, it will concat the column that you provide, right? The same function in PostgreSQL is called string ag, right? So we write string aggregation, so string aggregation, and then you need to provide which column you want to aggregate. So the column is skill. And what is the separator? So obviously like after Python, what should you separate the next value as, right? So we write comma, right? And then obviously, uh, you know, let's put this in a specific order, right? So that, you know, uh, when once we, you know, filter it out to see that, okay, which all candidates have that, that combination of Python, Tableau and PostgreSQL. So we can, you know, write that. And otherwise, like it can be aggregated in any other way and it might be making our task difficult. So what we can do is we can write order by the skill and let's, you know, uh, so, okay, so let me, okay. So uh, let's alias this as, let's say all skills, right? Or all required skills, what, like whatever you prefer. Okay, let me run this, let's see what we are getting. Okay, so now here, if you look at it, right? So. Uh, you know, candidate ID one, two, three, they have PostgreSQL, Python, Tableau, one, four, seven has Java, PostgreSQL, Python, and Tableau, right? And similarly for all others. So obviously just by looking at it, the, in the output, we should have one, two, three, and one, four, seven, right? One, four, seven has these three as well as Java. So it means that the candidate ID 147 is also proficient in doing the data science job, right? So once we have this, then what we can do is we can write, okay, 
with common table expression so we can store this entire thing in a common table expression so with ct as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this common table expression let from this common table expression right cte uh, let's keep only those rows where your all skills right where your all skills is like and now it should be so that this is the reason why i did you know uh, order by skill that whenever you have you know all the skills order them in ascending order so that you know the this like if a candidate has all these three things so it is arranged in a specific order so what we can do is if we can you know see that okay this column all skills have anything before this anything after this but these three are there in this particular order then obviously the person is suitable for the data science job right so what we can do is just copy this right and we can write okay percentage right so okay and these uh, skills and then anything after this does not matter so for example here right so in this one so anything before this so java or any other skill does not matter even if there was a third person which has okay tableau and then like what uh, something else up, up apart from them right so th that is that will be also included right so once we have then we are only keeping those rows where all skills have these three right and then once we have then then return the candidate id why because that is what we need in the output right so return candidate id and this should be ordered by candidate id in ascending order so we write order by candidate id in ascending order right so by default it is ascending order okay this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so now if you look at it our candidate id you know uh, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 4, 7. Let's go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. Right. Okay. So this is accepted. You know, congrats. This uh, this is done. Right. And yeah, this is how we do it. Our output is same as expected output. Right. So, okay. So let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.